Yo, this is DJ Swish, and you're watching ThisIs50.com. Swish. Swish, what's going on, baby? What's going on, How man? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, and yourself? You done finally came through here, man. You know what I'm saying? You got these checks and stuff. Yeah. You done blew up. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, 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 it's a B on the blue, so I... I'm, here. I'm trying to get used to saying that right now. You know, do I, I got to cut my, my C words out? I mean, I'm not, this conversation. I'm not affiliated, you know. Oh, you ain't affiliated? Nah, okay, yeah, okay, I'm cool. Neutral ground, you neutral just ground. never know what y'all California motherfuckers. Yeah, you man. never know. Word, word. Inglewood. Inglewood, that's where I was born. I mean, talk about growing up inside Inglewood, man. Um, I was actually born in Inglewood, but I grew up in Torrance, California. Okay. Uh, so Sounds it's like, like a the nice South. place. Yeah, it's, you know, by the beach. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I was really a part you of it. You hang around white people, so I know it's. Good shit, I hang man. around Good all shit. cultures, but yeah, you know. I'm, okay, for the yeah, most yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. now that the money coming in. Yeah. yeah. Stay over there. <laughs> Stay over That's there. A good place like to some be. really, really smart guys. Man. Word, word, word. So how did you get started making beats, man? Who who bought you your first beat machine? Uh well I've been in music since I was six. Mm -hmm. Um playing the piano. In church? Um, or just at the house? Church. I've been in, you know, concert band, orchestra, salsa <laughs> band, jazz band. Everything that involved music, you know, drum line, I was a part of it. Well, usually when things like that happen, the parents are used to be, uh, like, do music also? Uh, my dad used to DJ when he was younger, um, but he would also play music in the house. Mm. Uh, my mom was the one that actually put me into piano. So Did you hate it? I hated it, man. I used Did to, she hit you in the hand? I used shit? to cry, bro. I used to cry. Word, but now but it I'm, makes I'm, sense. Yeah, thanks, mom. You yeah. a classical pianist? Yeah. Word? Uh -huh. God damn, man. That, that's like my dream to be able to do that, but it's a little too late for me. I always had the piano fingers, but when my, 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 when my mom was try to make me do it, then I'd get up and run. Yeah. So, uh, I just wasn't fucking with it. Man, you I'm You a lucky ducky. Yes, sir. Word, yes, you remember the first uh, beat that you actually played? Uh, the first beat I placed was um, with an artist named RJ, mm -hmm. uh, Ride With Me. Uh, so YG heard it, uh, he remixed it and put it on his uh, album and his movie. Um, then we did another song called Get Rich, uh, and that's the song that you know blew up mm -hmm. in, in Cali. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there, YG just you know told me to work on the album. Um, so he took me on tour, the J. Cole tour, and I was, and I was lit. Uh, and then, you know, it's a wrap from there. It's a like, man, you gotta explain to me when you first, like, why'd you reach out to you and wants to work with you? What's going through your mind as a uh, aspiring producer? Uh, what did you do? G g give me the look that was on your face. Paint the picture for us, man. Take me there. <laughs> I was a little confused only because, you know, why'd you working with Mustard? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was like, okay, why, why would you want to work with me? Um, so just beats are expensive to the motherfucker. That's why. Man, <laughs> but uh, I guess just based off the fact that RJ's you know songs blowing up, um, I guess I had a different kind of sound. Um, I tried to bring that to the album. So mm. uh, you know, it was it was it was real fun. Was Does real fun. he call you or you go to a third party? Oh no, yeah, he calls. Him? He calls me direct. He texts me all the time. Uh, no, I'm talking about when, when you first met him. Yeah, it was direct. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so and it's like this YG. What's up, man? Yeah, you know, what's happening, fool? Like, what's the deal? Did yeah. you believe it was him? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I heard his voice, you know, I was like, okay, this yeah, is real. Yeah, I got the first album. I know what yeah, he sound like. Yeah, so it was just a good process, Did man. Did you respond to my nigga, my nigga? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I can do um, But yeah, YG's cool. He's really we smart. Um, as far as, like, direction of the album, you know, he had it clear. Um, you know, I just, you know, did what I had to do. Mm. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, people call me Swish, mm -hmm. so I, that means I got a cold jumper. So that means, you know, you know, when you, you get gotta past, explain that in the beat world. When you gotta, get past the ball, you gotta make it, bro. So that's I kind of apply that to you know music in a certain way. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta score. I can dig it. I yeah. can dig it, man. And you've been scoring ever since. Yes, sir. And man, go ahead and run down your hits, man. Don't let them know what time it is. Get real <laughs> cocky right now, man. Talk, oh. talk your shit. <laughs> All right, so uh, I did Don't Come to L.A., uh, Who Shot and Me. And just because of that song, I don't go to L.A. no Damn. more. Go ahead. No, you can still come. Uh, who Shot Me, Gimme Got Shot. Uh, still Brazy, I did that with Ty. Um, fuck Donald Trump. Uh, so so that, that mean you ain't rooting for Donald Trump then? Huh? Hell no. Okay. Hell no. Um, and then I helped with uh, Bull Bomb and Elected. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Damn, dog. You're very accomplished to be so young. Man, I'm only Man, what 24. it feel like? It's good. I'm just more excited to what's coming next. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, climb the staircase, really. 23 years old. Yeah. Man, what's your mama saying right now? 
Uh, I mean, she she never really used listen to hip hop. Uh, you know, she would listen to gospel. Uh, she couldn't even tell you who, you know, what type of song Snoop or Tupac had. Like, mm-hmm. so I mean, of course, you know, she was worried as far as me, you know, going to hip hop and you know all the stories that happened. You know, I just try to keep her calm. Just you know, I'm, you know, I got a good head on my shoulders and just make sure I make the right decisions every time. Mm. So you know, she's real proud of me. Was she even more scared when she met YG? Nah, she hasn't. Met, she don't even know who YG is. You wouldn't even let her meet him, right? So you would fuck know. up everything in that. You really get scared. Like you going out with him on the road? Yeah, she hasn't for heard that. For sixty dates? Yeah. yeah. You Man. talking about fuck Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pray over YG and all that shit. Man, anoint his head with oil. Yeah. So do you write the uh, uh, the hooks to your stuff too? You got some other songs? Uh, nah, not yet. I'm starting to write a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of pop stuff too. So. What? Yeah. I want everybody gonna look out for that. Okay, man. I'm, 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 like on the uh, ones where you got the hooks on there, man. Yeah. I need to borrow a song, dog. I need to be one of them dudes. I got you. Man, I'm working on my album right now. It's oh, called Girl, you. Give Me Your Real Number. Hey. And okay. I need some help with that. I'm I trying to get you. that West Coast sound, dog. I got you. You think you can get me to where I need to be? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it there. I'm man, I know. I'm gonna call you after this interview, oh, man. I'm gonna Answer pick- my shit, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't do me like that, Switch. I, I don't, man. I'm kind of hard. I'm, you know, I'm a genuine person. Hey, talk about being on the road, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you, did you get some of them YG crumbs? Because I, I <laughs> come on, talk about it, man. Your mama ain't here. What yeah, happened, baby? Because yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story. I, I got this little young girl. She's 23, but no, oh, she's 26. Man. Oh yeah. And she is in love with YG. She wants to fuck him so bad, man. And I don't get it. I don't get it. And so what I'm about when, 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 like, I'm 34. I'm uh-huh. old. I'm old now. So uh-huh. you know, um, I could only imagine how many girls it is out there that's like my girl. And I know you've seen all of them on the road, man. And you've been able. To know what I'm saying, you know, you know, talk about it. Crazy groupie experience. Let's get it, baby. Uh, I mean, I was around it, but you know, I don't really entertain it that much. Only because I got a girlfriend, so you know, I, I, yeah. Did you bring her on the road? Nah, she didn't come on the road. Did she want to come? Nah, she don't even like to be around. She, cause sometimes I, I'll try to bring her to the studio, and she'll be like, nah, I don't want to be seen as a groupie. I'm like, you with me, so yeah, what the fuck? Don't worry about nobody else. You <laughs> love her? Yeah, I love her, man. Wow. Yeah. You a good guy, Swish. Yeah. Man, you wouldn't even be able to tell that by your name, cause I was expecting something else. You are a really nice guy. Yeah, man. That's... Seems like you're going to heaven, man. I would be your friend in real life. How do you feel like uh, about the game right now? You know, um, it's it's like a free for all. Anything goes. Yeah, anything goes. But at the same time, you know, you gotta look at you know the music that we listened to growing up, and we thought it was the shit. And then hearing the new stuff, and we don't really you know vibe with it so much. But you gotta understand the younger kids is you know the new fun. generation. Right. So I try to always channel that when I'm making music, and you know try to see what the younger kids are listening to and, you know, flip it in, you know, my way. So tell us what you got coming up next, man, because I know you got some more famous shit to do. I'm not going to hold you up. Um, a lot of stuff, really. Uh, I've been working with Pell. Uh, he's a pretty dope artist. Um, I was in the studio with Dre. Uh, that was a cool experience. Dre who? The doctor. You was in there with Dr. Dre, though? Yeah, I met him. Uh, that was that was real cool. He heard your beats? Nah, he didn't. Word. But he put me on the spot. I had to play the piano for him. So, what did you use on that motherfucker? Like Lil Richie? You... <laughs> to the to the to the. That motherfucker, you playing with your foot? Man, I was nervous. Word. I was nervous. Man. You weren't choking though, right? I wasn't choking, but I was nervous. Word. Oh, yeah. Just sweating. Over he there. could tell though, but he, he could tell. Yeah. He got his keyboard wet. Nah. <laughs> I mean, nah. But nah, that was a cool experience. Um, and just working with like, you know, a lot of upcoming artists. I have a few artists I'm working with and mm. developing already. Mm. Um, so, you know, just trying to just brand give, give myself. Give your artists a shout out, man. Uh, I can't say. Oh, they ain't yeah. signed that paper yet? Yeah. I can dig it, fuck them yeah, now. I can't say it. Nick White, you know they watch like, why the fuck you ain't you say nothing my name, yeah, man? Yeah, I can't And didn't I tell you to sign this shit, give me all your publishing, <laughs> and then we gonna blow you up? <laughs> You yeah. got to follow the rules, motherfucker. You got to. Oh, good luck. Man. You on your own. And then, you know, this the album that we about to work on, we, you know, we got to do that, so. We pimpin', nigga. Now I know it's real. 
I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to this is before we get up at you? Uh, just be on the lookout for anything that I release uh, or work with. You'll be surprised. Yeah. That is. You'll be surprised. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you're really something you got to be in there. We don't we out of here. We a switch, man. Do I have something in my Don't kiss the moles in the mouth unless you got to. Uh-uh. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet for no Romeo and no Doug.